Hello everybody. In this video we're going to go over a couple of the assignments in module 4. The creating an assessment item and the using speed grader and giving annotated comments. So you're going to want to go into your sandbox site and you can create an assignment inside the module as we did uh, way back when or if you prefer you can actually go to the left in the course navigation list if you click on assignments and then the blue plus assignment button you can also create one from there either way is fine but I'm gonna use the one that I've already put in my module and if you click on the name of it it'll open up and you can see there's nothing in there now we will click on edit and it already has a title but if you're creating one from scratch, you're going to add a title in. And then in this main box, if you click inside, this is where you can add instructions. You can even add a video if you like or uh, upload a file in this area. Just whatever the assignment needs, you can put it all in this in kind of instruction area. So I'm going to keep this simple. I'm just going to say write uh, 50 words on astronomy. Why not? Okay, that's a terrible assignment, but that's fine. We're just practicing. So we're going to scroll down the list here, and you will see now I see the points. Uh, you can put your points in. I'm going to make this worth 10. Assignment group, we're still going to leave this alone. We'll talk about this later in class. And I'm not going to touch display grade as points. I'm not going to touch that. This is the real important one, submission type. If I were to just leave this at no submission, I wouldn't be getting anything from my students. So I want to change this, make sure it's set to online. And now we have different options here. Uh, if it's a short 50 word paragraph, which is what mine is, you can have, it, have them just type it straight into Canvas by selecting text entry. If you also want to give them the option of uploading a Word document, which might be good if this were a longer assignment, uh, I would also select File Uploads. If this were a six-page research paper, you don't want to have text entry checked because if the student starts typing inside Canvas and then the power goes out, they're going to lose all their work. So make sure you use File Uploads if that's the situation. You also have the option here to restrict upload file types. You can use this if you don't want any sort of weird files coming in. And then you can just type in the file extension. So if I only wanted Word, I would type DOC for the older Word uh, files, comma, DOCX, which is the newer Word files. And you can add any other formats that you want to receive. And if the student tries to upload something weird, you know, pages, for instance, this will stop them in their tracks and say, hey, you can only upload these file types. Next, we're going to go down the list and I'm going to skip group and peer review. And then we have the assigned to box. And this one, you want to be really careful with this. Uh, right now, it's everyone is already in there, and that's what I want. I want this is for everyone in the class. Um, and then here's where you can put in the due dates. We're not going to do that for this particular assignment. And I just want you to make note of this plus add at the bottom. Let's say we did have a due date in here and an until date. Uh, those an until date would mean that the assignment would be locked after that date. So if you have that set and you have a student that comes to you with a legitimate excuse and needs access to a closed assignment, that's when you're going to click this plus add here. And that'll make a whole new assigned to box. You see now I have two here. In this one, you can type, start typing the name of just that one student who you want to give an extra day or two for. And then you can give them their own due dates. For now, I'm just going to leave the one though. But I wanted you to be aware of that because many of us are going to have to give students extra chances <laughs> If they miss due dates, right? So now that I have all this set, I'm going to go and click on Save and Publish. If I was 
not quite finished. If I was still composing this assignment, I would just click save and then come back to it later, edit it some more, and then publish it. But for now I'm ready, I'm gonna click save and publish. So now here's the assignment. If we go back to modules, you'll notice that this is now turned green and we have a green check on the far right and that's because it's published. Now what we're gonna do is the other module four assignment, which was how to use speed grader and how to give annotated comments. So the first thing in your sandbox is you're going to become a test student. So if you go to home, you'll see on the right, you have student view. And if you click on student view, you'll notice you have a pink border around, and then it says at the bottom, you're currently logged into student view. And student view is an excellent way for you to go through your course and see it just as a student would. So it's a good way to troubleshoot kind of problems and to make sure everything's functioning correctly. So we're gonna go into this assignment as the test student. And I can see that this says write 50 words on astronomy. And then I have the blue submit button up in the upper right corner. So as the test student, I'm gonna click on that submit assignment. And you'll see we have different options here. Because I gave them the option to do a text entry, they could type in here. But uh, for this, we wanna upload a document. So we're gonna do file upload. And then the student would click on choose file, which would open up a browser window and we could look for a document. So I'm gonna find a Word document. So I will just use this as an example. I'm gonna upload that. So I double clicked on it. And you'll see that the name of that document shows up right next to choose file. And then the test student's gonna click submit assignment. Okay, and you'll see on the right, uh, I have a little check mark, it says submitted. And that tells the student that they did submit and it gives them a little detail about that. They also have the option to resubmit. If, they, if you come back with some feedback and you want them to resubmit, they can come back and do it. So now that we've done the test student, we can switch back to teacher view. And to do that, we go to the lower right corner and click on leave student view. So now that we're in instructor view, we, we can be inside this assignment. We're not gonna edit it, but we're gonna go to the right and click on speed grader. And I want you to notice that you have a couple more options here as well. It tells you that you have a submission that hasn't been graded. It's a zero out of one submissions graded. And what we're gonna do next is click on speed grader. And here is where you can look at what the student has submitted and you can do all kinds of things. You can actually annotate stuff on the, their submission. Uh, by using these tools up here in speed grader. So right now, if I really liked this paragraph or this sentence, I could highlight it. And then I could click on one of these tools here. This one would be a comment. So if I click on that, I can add a comment to, I can point to something and add a comment, check your spelling or something like that. All right, and then I can use the highlighter. That's what I should have done. I can highlight a whole sentence here, and then you can click on this symbol, and you can leave a, 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 a comment here, nice sentence, and so on. So you can actually do a fair bit of stuff that you used to be able to do in Word, you know, all kinds of things. So I, I, uh, I think you should play around with some of these tools. You can also delete them. Here's a strike through. So if they didn't need this area, we could strike through it. So there's all kinds of cool tools that you can use and play with. So for this assignment, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to show you these options. But what you do have to do is give them a grade. So I'll give this student a grade. I'm gonna give this student 10 out of 10. And then for the comments, we're gonna click in here and you can type in your comment. And if you want, you can also attach a file. You can leave a media comment, could be a video or an audio comment if you want. Or you can use this, which is speech recognition, which will actually, you can 
speak your comment and it'll type it for you in this box. But those are just optional. I'm going to just leave it at this and click submit. And that's it. I've graded the student. I've given them a comment. So now what I can do is copy this URL up here and turn in my assignment for the course. I'll go back into the other course and turn this in. So I hope this video helps you get through uh, what's a little bit of a tricky assignment. There's a lot of back and forth, student view, teacher view, speed grader, etc. So thanks for watching.